Oh, the drama with getting meta verified. Have you heard what's going on? If you haven't, I have the 411. First, for those that don't really know what getting meta verified is, it's that cute little blue check mark beside people's names in their bio. Now, this was normally reserved for famous people or larger influencer accounts that had some sort of clout or media coverage. But Meta had the great idea to add this as a subscription service. So basically, you can get the blue check mark as long as you pay a monthly subscription fee and you present your government ID. They said that you would get great customer service, so you'd be able to speak to a human if you paid for it. And they also said that you would get more reach. But they changed their mind on getting more reach because people started to complain a little bit. Now they also said that this would just be for personal accounts, not business accounts, but apparently if you have your full name in the name portion of your bio, that that would suffice. It's important to note that this is currently in testing phase and they have launched in Australia, New Zealand, and the United States. Now the drama. So apparently when users have been applying for the verification process, they have been taking people's government IDs and putting them as as their profile image. <gasps> yeah. The other thing is when they've attempted to contact Instagram, Instagram only had canned responses, not a human. This has caused a little bit of outrage, this is a security issue, and the whole point was to provide people with more security. I'm also being told that from people that have paid for the service that they haven't gotten personalized customer support and human either. Now I have had some people tell me that they have had copycat accounts and reported it and Instagram has removed them, so at least there's that. What I like about this is the attempt to give us more security for our account. What I don't like about it is that if they weren't giving us security before, where is the proof that they will continue to do this? So far, we're not really getting that. Now, don't get me wrong, I totally get it. It really sucks to have somebody copy your account and try to scam your community. So I understand wanting to have that protection. And having that blue check mark identifies who has the real account. Now, if Instagram can work out all of the cases, this might end up being a really great program. However, I'm not quite convinced. Will I apply for the infamous blue check mark? Well, I'm in Canada, so I don't even have the option yet. If I do get the option, I don't know what I'll do because I want to see how things play out. If you have the blue check mark, let us know your experience below. Tell us if you like it or not. And if you don't have it, will you get it? Will you pass? What are your thoughts? We'll be watching you, Instagram.